Hey folks, welcome back. Um, I'm here today. I was just piddling around making some card fronts and stuff. So I thought I would show you my process of how I make card sets using 12 by 12 paper. Um, cutting them down to make um, card sets that match and then you can put them in, you know, little gift sets or whatever if you want to give some greeting cards as gifts. So I'm not going to do like a themed like Christmas or whatever, I'm just going to um, do like a standard type um, card set. I'm not going to use Christmas paper for this um, so that you can just use it. You can do it for Christmas or you can do it for, you know, just regular greeting cards, however you want to do them. So I'm going to be using this Copper Luxury stack um, and I'm just going to pick out, and it's double sided. I'm using double sided for this um, particular project. So I'm just going to take a few out. It's very glittery as you see. But I'm just going to pick a few of them out um, that we may want to do a set with. Um, so let's see. Maybe, let's see what the back of this one looks like. Maybe we can do, maybe that one, and then maybe this one as well. Maybe. So let's take a look at the backs and make sure that we have what we want. I may want this one instead because it is a different... Uh, it's a different bag. So I may take it instead of, say, this one. So we'll just take those. We will just take these. I'm not sure if I want that one or not. But we will see. Da, 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 da. Let's turn them all where they stack together and look. We have cut aparts in this one too that would be great for journaling or um, little note cards. But I think I think we will just stick with those for now. I'm not going to use all of them, but I'm going to show you. I'm just showing you like the process I would do if I'm going to use 12 by 12 um, double sided paper to make cards. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut these down to 6 by 6. That's going to be my first cut is cutting them down to 6 by 6. So let me move that over. Um, let's cut the branding strip off first. Six. six. And now we're going to cut them down to six by six. This is a gorgeous paper. those together, stick them in, and like I said, we will do normal card fronts, the normal size, we're doing A2 size, um, that's most of the cards that I do, so that's what we're going to do. So yeah, I thought I would just turn on the camera since I was here making these anyway and just share with y'all. Man, that is some bright paper. Whoa. Let's turn it over on this side. 
and some of them are not um, a true 12 by 12 they're a little off so some of your pages may be a little more or less than six All right. and like I say with card sets they're all going to be the same just different sentiments so you can mass produce these if you wish but I find that doing card sets you kind of want them I want them all to match and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these all of these even though I know I'm not about to make this many cards right now I'm gonna show you and then um, my process and then you can do them how you want and I have my frumpy little sweatshirt on because I am frozen today and I'm refusing to turn the heat on <laughs> refusing to turn the heat on this is the last one to cut up into six by six. You can also keep those little Brandon strips and use the extra pieces if you want. I will confess that I have been throwing scraps away. I'm sorry, but most of you know you can get entirely too many. Okay. Sorry, that's my coffin. So there's that. Now what we're going to do is turn my phone off so that it doesn't go nuts so in a minute. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make um, the standard size, which is four by five and a quarter. Um... So we're gonna want it four and then five and a quarter for this one. And we need we got four out of each. So what we're gonna do is four by five and a quarter out of this one. Keep your little pieces over here. Then we're going to do the next size down, which is a three and three quarter. Three and three quarter by five and that's the next size down so we're going to keep it there and then we're going to do that again with each of them but I don't have to do I'm just going to do I'll do one I'll do one set with each one I won't do both while you're here and I guess you would like to see my trimmer. Let me move some of this stuff up for me. I have my punches here. I have everything in front of me. So let's move this here so you can actually kind of see. So we're going to do a four. Whoopsie. Four. By five and a quarter for the first one. And then a three and three quarter. Three and three quarter by five for the next one. This is just your standard A2 mats. All right, and put those other two up there. We may need them. And then let's see, four, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, people. Five and a quarter. There. And then three and three quarter. Three and three quarter by five. And 
And these are the shiny ones. Four. Five and a quarter. The good thing about doing a paper collection is usually everything in the paper pad does match. So you can interchange them out. sneeze I think oh, am I going to sneeze? no? okay it went away it went away I think I moved that one so it's not going to be exact it's crazy when you cut so many of them and then you forget what the measurements are. Does that happen to you? Because it happens to me. Four. Five and a quarter. Probably should have kept the shiny out, but that's okay. Everything will be fine. All right. So we have all of the pieces. Now let's put this over here. Let me go ahead and cut. I haven't cut any card just in case you do not know how to cut an A2 size. You take an eight and a half by 11 on the 11 um, side, you cut it at five and a half and you get two card bases out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11. So there's one, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, so let's just cut some. Usually I have these already cut, but um, I wanted to cut some with you just in case you did not know. You can also use colored cardstock as well, but I have all of this white so, sitting here. So, and I have some colored cardstock over here too in case we need it to um, add to these that should match it should match up pretty good all right that's enough to miss all right let's put this over here for just a minute and let's pull these out and see what's going to match okay so we have this we could do that that could be like a tone on tone type thing that's kind of that might work for that one um and we could probably do this one for here that would work for that um let's see do that Maybe. Do that there. The only thing is this paper is so pretty that I may want to do this paper is so pretty that I may want to use this. I may want to do it this way because I really like that paper. So let's do that that way. Um, let's do this one, maybe this way. We can do that that way, like that. Then the shiny I kind of want in the back. I don't want it to be. But. We could do a shiny like that. Although, I don't know who that is calling me. I don't know who that is calling. Sorry. Um, okay, let's see. 
still think I like this though. I like that. So we'll go with that. So we have those three. Then we have this one. Which we could do. Do that one like that. Um, we could probably we could do this one like this. And this too. So let's do this like this and then this one on this one. We're going to cover that up but that'll be fine. Alright so are we happy with that one? Two. Yeah. Okay. So now you can do you can ink them if you want. If you would like to ink them. We can ink them. Um, let's see, what kind of ink do we want? Maybe like a... I have a pink, but maybe like a, like a... Let's see what this is. Maybe like a bundled sage or shabby shutters. Um, let's do shabby shutters if I can find me a thing because I don't have one under it so let's find me a, a thing yeah did you hear that that's exciting um, That was all my distress inks falling. All right, let's see. Let's do. Get one of those. I'm going to pause while I pick up my distress ink. I mean, my um, embossing powders. Okay, one moment. All right. Now that we're out of breath and we've picked up all that mess, let's ink some of these things. All right. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -bum. All right, here we go. We're going to use shabby shutters. We're going to ink some of these. Which I think matches very well. make I'm just making card fronts I'm not doing sentiments or anything like that and then when you decide what you want your sentiment to be then you can stamp it now if you're giving it um, I'm just gonna put it on the edges because it's not gonna stick to that paper if you are giving it as a gift set then you would decide what you wanted to do before you give it to them, of course. 
which I will do with the gift sets that I will get, you know, give or whatever. But I like to just make up a bunch of card fronts and then if somebody has a birthday or whatever, all I have to do is go and pick out a card and stamp, you know, happy birthday or whatever and then do the, this, whatever I want to put on the inside. It makes it easier if you have a bunch of card fronts made up. Is what I'm trying to say. And usually, I don't ink a lot all the time, but it does give it a different look for sure. And I think it'll look good up against the white card base. And I'm trying to do this in real time so that you can see how long. I don't even remember. I don't even know how many I have here, but we'll be making some more different ones out of the scraps. These are just the first cuts. And if this is the only kind that you ever make, they will all be different because of the paper choices. As well. All right, so there's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and this and we're going to find which I guess we could use the shiny side because I'm going to put something on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little scrap pieces that we have and we're going to cut this at three and a half because that piece is three and three quarters. So we're going to cut this at three and a half. All right. So that's what we're going to do with all of these. That has that piece. So we're going to take this one and cut it three and a half. And this one has this piece. Hello. We're going to cut it at three and a half. is a flower piece. The, this one I think. I think. Three and a half. Um, shiny piece. Shiny piece. I'm going to cut it. Three and a half. And this one is something over here, somewhere. This one, three and a half. So, there is that. Now, we got to ink those. We don't have to ink these, but we're going to ink these. Hello. We're going to throw things too today. If you didn't know, we will not ink the. I'm trying to decide if I want to do ovals or if I want to do my favorite punch, which is. I'll show you. That one doesn't need it. That one doesn't need it. If you have a die cutting machine, of course, you know you can die cut your things for your sentiments. If you wanna. There's that and then one more. Alright, so 
there's that. Now what we need to do is we need to cut our, I have this oval, which I could use, but I also have this one, which is my favorite. So, and I just have some scrap paper. So let's look at the oval option and see if we like it. I think I'm going to like this one better because I always like this one better. What do we think? I think I like this one better. I always like that one better. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, could also cut this out, uh, I mean cut another piece out smaller than that in solid cardstock and have that there, then have the other piece and then have this one on top if you wanted to do that. Like you could do a, um, this is not really the right color, but for instance, you could do like a green and then have this on top, which, you know, you could do that if you wanted to just cut it. I would cut it a quarter inch smaller than that. All right. So now it's time to put them together. So our card bases, which what have I done with, are here. Well. Let's go. Let's just go ahead and put them all together, and then we will do put them on the card bases. Try to do them all together. to get them as even as possible. It never works out for me. Maybe it works out better for you, but it does not for me. And that side may have been a better option for to do it. All right. Then you can use, you know, wet glue or Whatever, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just use this. You can, um, if you if you want to use pop dots, you need to go ahead and stamp it first. But since I'm doing flat, it does not have to have uh, pop dots. I mean, I can't do pop dots. Is what I mean to say. I'll try to get this one done quick, so you're not blinded by the flash. Blinded by the light. So if you're still here watching this, thank you. Um, and what Kind of crafty things would you like to see on the channel? I have Craftmas coming up next month. Um, I'm gonna try to do a fun fold um, series of cards. I always feel weird doing cards because 
I don't really do a bunch of fancy stuff. I'm more or less a simple card maker. Um, there are a few that I do that are, you know, a little more whatever. They're still simple, but they're a little fancier, I guess you could say. But for the most part, I am simple, simple crafter. I have some Christmas little golden book journals that I need to be working on and I'm trying to decide if I will actually get more done if I'm recording or doing them live. So I'm trying to decide on that as well. What I thought I'd do is I would make these cards and then I will do a video making a box, gift box, for them to go in so that you could make that too if you would like to gift that for Christmas or anytime, birthdays, Christmas, whatever. I think everybody uses greeting cards and now that a lot of people are not going out and about they would probably enjoy having handmade blank cards that they could give I do anyway. Think that. And this paper is so pretty. and then we are done. I can guarantee you that none of my cards are straight <laughs> at all. And that's okay because they're handmade. And that's part of it. But I kind of wanted to come on and show a start to finish on how to make a set and just show you how long it takes me to make a card set. time to put them on their card bases. You can ink the bases if you want. I never do, but you can certainly do that if you would like to. Totally up to you. I do recommend a bone folder. Oh, I forgot about the scraps. I would like to show you the scrap process too. Like the extras that we have. What I'll do with those. So we'll do that too.
this is where I feel like I need music so that I'm not just sitting here la 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 when I have nothing to say because I usually don't talk to myself when I'm making cards. I mean, sometimes I do. You know, when you mess up and you're like, uh, you're a dummy, what did you do? That kind of thing. But usually, I'm not known for talking to myself. I mean, I have been known to occasionally. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm anxiously awaiting all the Christmas stuff that's going to be coming out. The videos and all that. Everybody gets all crafty for Christmas and I love it. I love seeing what everybody does. And like I said, I will be doing Craftmas again this month, which is a video every day for 25 days. I do not have my line up yet, so. You know, we still got that to figure out. Under pressure. Maybe I do good under pressure, who knows. record this, get this done, and yeah, maybe inspire y'all to make some cards as gifts once you see how simple they can be. I don't do difficult. Well, I try not to do difficult. I have ink all over my fingers. Okay, so there are those. Now, with our scraps, what we can do is we can go ahead and cut them cut these pieces to five so we're just going to take these pieces that are long and cut them to five i will not keep all these scraps so hide your eyes if it bothers you some of them yes some of them no could keep them to do um, journal stuff with if you would like because you can keep them to do whatever you want it's totally up to you I think that's all of the little pieces okay then we need to oh we have these strips too so let's see what is this strip? how long is this strip um, how many did I have one two three four did I end up with six I did end up with six. Okay. So then we can take our little strips here and cut them at five. Five. 
I could just go ahead and use this as six. Six. All right. Then we're going to bring these pieces in and we're going to look at them. And put them together. Probably like this. And I take this one and put across there. All right, so that works. Did I not say I had six of these? Oh, there's the other one. I was like, where's the other one at? Where's the other one at? Uh. Okay, let's see. Let's do maybe this one and nope, no thank you. I don't like it. Ooh, I like that better. I like that better. Then we can use this pink one. Maybe. This pink one. Maybe? Pink? I don't know. I do like this better. With that one. So that'll work for that. I may have to use this. I don't like that though. Maybe this pink one will have to go. Nope, we're gonna go pink. All right, so there's that. Now, you can ink that, or not ink that. I'm not gonna ink it this time. Three. All right, so we need three. One. Hello, get out of there. Two. Three. All right. We will need three card pieces. this way this time so we're going to put this up here that is not cut the right way yeah, it is it's fine this up here and this here all right is fine. Then this is going to go here. And then you can use those other scraps however you want. That's when your other extra cardstock will come in handy. If you want it to use it. Put 
that kind of in the middle there. And then your sentiment is going to go in the center. Hello, you're going to tear your sentiment because that's what we do around here. So, can't use that one. What happens when you get in a hurry, folks? Don't get in a hurry. It's okay. Because people are bored watching. They've already stopped. So there's no need to rush. Try to put that in the middle the best that you can. Like also. Alright. And we have this one to do. This one's going to go here. And here. Move your stuff out the way. Try to make it even. Try to make it even. I'm the only one that uses my uh, cutting mat the crooked way. I realize this. It's okay. I promise. I promise. But if you want to email me, go right ahead. It's okay. You can. It's all good. It is all good. Alright, let's bring it down. down in the middle like that take our you can add extra pieces to the back of this to make it line up you know so it's not bulky like Phelan uh, so that it is equal to what's under it if you want which is probably what I should do with some of my things but it's okay. Like you can add extras here and here, and then it would even up with that. But since I can see through this, I didn't want to do that. But you certainly can, if you would like. glitter on it. I don't know. Do you know why it has glitter on it? Because I don't. One of these days we're going to get one of these in the center. One of these days. Alright, so there's that. Now, we have all of this extra, this extra stuff, okay? And what you can do with this extra stuff is you can make a card with it as well. If you want, you can take you... Let's see, do we want this color? Ooh, maybe, maybe. If I had that limey color, that would be nice. Let's see, I want this color. Ooh, that's nice too. Yeah, let's do that. So what we'll do, I'll just do one of these because I have one card base left. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it at five and a quarter by four, because that's our mat size. Five and a quarter by four. Okay. Because that is our mat size. 
I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up like so. And decide if we want it this way, which we could do it this way. We could do it that way. We very easily could do it that way if we wanted to, or we could do it this way. Which is kind of alright. And maybe put a strip in the middle. Let's put that here. Um, let's see. There's a smaller one. I don't like that. Let's go back to this one. The green. Do I have one of those green strips like this? That would be a no. No. I do not. Oh yes, I do. Right here. Okay. So, if I do this here, with that in the middle, I don't like that. I like the gap in between. But then, I don't have room for the center. Do I? Unless I do it this way and put my sentiment that way. Hold on. Put this like this. And this. sentiment down there and then I can put some sparkly things up there how about that how does that sound I really like this paper let me see let me see I do like that would go this way Maybe that one better than this one? Yeah. Alright. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that way. So that's my process, people. You just put your scraps or whatever on there until you like it. And then that's how it goes. That's how it goes. And then you put this on there as straight as you can now this one I'm gonna rough up the edges so I'm gonna take my little edge rougher and I do back and forth but I'm gonna do it over here so it's not all that is on the um, desk can do um, you can rough up edges with the scissors too but I do recommend getting you a little paper rougher upper paper rougher upper Is it supposed to go this way? I don't even remember. Do y'all remember? Because I don't. This is going to go that way. Dun, 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 dun. Y'all probably yelling at me because I did it wrong. Y'all probably yelling at me because I did it wrong. Nope, that's right. 
Okay, and then this is going to go right there. And then this is going to go in the thing. is going crazy right there and then we can put some um, sparkly things or whatever right there okay that's all I can do more like this style with the scraps I have okay so how many we make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we made a ten card front in an hour so that's not too bad not too bad so yeah so if you're still here thanks so much for watching I hope that it helped you to decide you know how to make some card sets if you want to do some card sets for gifts I hope that this helped you figure out that you can do them easily and uh, yeah, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I shall um, see you next time. And remember, be kind to one another and make someone smile. Bye.